Ahudu Balemene Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabb Alameen Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad Wa Ali Muhammad Alayma Wa Madi'in Wa Salam Taslima Kathira I pray you are all in good faith and that God Almighty opens up many new doors of understandings and blessings into your life and protects you from all that is evil in this world. The purpose of this presentation is to help our Christian brothers and sisters become more aware that Muslims and Christians are much closer than they may think. One of the main differences between Muslims and Christians is that Christians either believe Jesus salam, is the Son of God or some even believe that he is God himself manifested in the physical form. Whereas Muslims believe that Jesus salam, is the son of Mary and the prophet of God in his time, the Messiah to return in the end of times to destroy the Dajjal, the impostor, or as Christians know him as, the Antichrist. Another very important difference between Christians and Muslims is that Christians believe Jesus was crucified on the cross for our sins, whereas Muslims believe that Jesus salam, was truly not crucified on the cross, rather a look-alike descended down to take his place. This is backed up from many hadiths from the Alobay Alayhim Salam, and this is what this presentation is going to focus on, God willing. And I pray that after this presentation, many Christians will recognize the truth in this matter, inshallah. Many Christians know from the Old and New Testaments that on the night Judas met with the Jewish rabbis to turn Jesus in, Jesus Alayhim Salam made several supplications to God, asking to be spared from the plots of the Jews. One account says, and he went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. One thing made clear by this verse is that Jesus, alayhi salam, desperately sought God's help and supplication, seeking for the hour to pass from him, and that God would take this cup from him, or the coming torment and crucifixion. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And they're saying, We did kill the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, whereas they slew him not, nor crucified him, but he appeared to them so. And those who differ therein are certainly in a state of doubt about it. They have no definite knowledge thereof, but only follow a conjecture, and they killed him not for sure. In the Quran, God makes it clear that while the Jews said that they had killed Messiah Jesus salam, the son of Mary, they had not killed or crucified him, and that it appeared to be so. That those who believe that Jesus' crucifixion actually took place are in a state of doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it, and at the very end of the verse, God made it perfectly clear that they killed him not for sure. So does this mean that God raised Jesus salam, to the heavens on the night before the crucifixion scene took place? And if so... Who was it that appeared to the Jews and the Romans as Jesus alayhi salam? This is very important for Christians to understand, as I have many Christians in my family and those back home who I grew up with. And this is the basis and core belief amongst the majority in the Christian faith. So I thought it would be important that we explore this together the best way we can. And God willing, He Almighty will guide us to the truth in this matter, and to the look-alike who quietly descended to take the place of Jesus alayhi salam, who quietly endured the torment, and who quietly returned to the kingdom. In this presentation, we will be exploring hadith from the Alubayt alayhim salam, or the purified household progeny of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and their knowledge is not easy to carry, as so spoken by the prince of believers, the commander of the faithful, the cousin and son-in-law of the holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Imam Ali alayhi salam. It has been related that one day the commander of the faithful, Ali bin Abi Talib alayhi salam, addressed Huthayfa bin al-Yaman, saying, O Huthayfa, do not speak to people in what they do not know, for they will become tyrannical and blasphemous. Yes, knowledge is so difficult and heavy a burden that if mountains were to carry it, they would not be able to bear up the load. The teachings of the people of the house would be rejected and deemed false and their narrator killed. The one who would relate them would be wronged out of oppression and envy for what Allah bestowed upon the progeny of the guardian, the guardian of the prophet, peace be upon him, in his household. O son of al-Yemen, the Prophet, peace be upon him, in his household, spit in my mouth, passed his hand over my chest, and said, O Allah, upon my successor, my guardian, the judge of my religion, the fulfiller of my promise and charge, my follower and supporter against your enemy and mine, and the reliever of my sorrows, 
I ask you to bestow the knowledge you have given to Adam, the forbearance you have given to Noah, the good progeny and magnanimity you have given to Abraham, the patience you have given to Job in times of affliction and trial, as well as the strength you have given to David when fighting peers, and finally, the discernment you bestowed upon Solomon. O oh Allah, do not conceal a thing in this world from Ali, and make it all visible to his eyes as a little table between his hands. O oh Allah, give him the endurance of Moses, and bring out of his progeny the look-alike of Isa, a.s. This hadith indicates several things. One, Ali bin Abi Talib a.s. speaks of how the true knowledge of the family of Muhammad a.s. is such a heavy weight to bear, so much so that the mountains would not be able to do so. In the supplication of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it shows the true nature and qualities of Imam Ali alayhi salam. But the Prophet of Allah mentions something that is very clear and important to understand, and it is the very focus of this presentation. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and bring out of his progeny the look alike of Isa alayhi salam. This indicates, since Jesus salam, was lifted up to heaven and not crucified, that the crucified look-alike of Isa salam, has to be one of the Imams or Metis salam, from the progeny of Ali salam, which are the successors and proofs of God in the earth after the Holy Prophet Muhammad salam. As for the Imams salam, and they are twelve, with an exception made for the twelfth Imam, Imam al-Mehdi salam, none of them stated or implied that he his predecessor or successor were the look-alike of Isa, who was crucified in the place of Jesus. However, when it comes to Imam al-Mahdi, it was narrated that al-Kam al-Mahdi is from the progeny of Ali and is the one who bears the most striking resemblance to Isa, the son of Mary, whether it be physically or morally or in countenance. Allah Almighty will give him what he has given to the prophets and more, and he will prefer him over others. Al-Kam is a common attribute that refers at some times to Imam al-Mahdi and at some other times it refers to Al-Kam, a Mahdi, or rightly guided, who handles Imam al-Mahdi's affairs, who is his chamberlain and deputy, which means it refers to the guardian of Imam al-Mahdi who is the first of the twelve Mahdi's, al-Yamani, or the appointed one to whom allegiance will be paid. Therefore at this time we know that the look-alike of Isa a.s., who was crucified in the place of Jesus, would either be Imam al-Mahdi a.s. or the first Mahdi, al-Yamani, son of the twelfth Imam and the first of the close ones. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Isa, son of Mary a.s. will descend at the break of day. He will break the crucifix, kill the pig, destroy the Dajjal, the impostor, collect the money of al -Kam, and walk ahead of the people of the cave. He is the most trusted helper of al -Kam, his chamberlain and his deputy, and he will spread security in the west and the east with the blessing and dignity of the authority and proof of Allah, son of Al-Hassan, alayhi salam. One can clearly see from this saying of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the crucified look-alike of Isa, alayhi salam, is in fact al-Yamani, as he is the most trusted helper of al -Kam, his chamberlain and his deputy, and will appear before Imam Mahdi salam, calling people to him. It is also interpreted that the saying, and he will walk ahead of the people of the cave, refers to the young men in Basra, Iraq, where the Imani first revealed the message that he was the Ahmed and the will of the Holy Prophet wasallam, written on the night of his death, and who delivered the message of the supremacy of God, not the supremacy of people in our time. Also very important, the commander of the faithful, Ali bin Abi Talib salam, said, Then the guiding and rightly guided Imam al-Mahdi will come out and will take the standard from the hands of Isa, the son of Mary. Here is another very important hadith like the one previously mentioned, because it shows us that by Imam al-Mahdi coming to take the standard from the hands of Isa, salam, which is the lookalike of Isa, the Yemeni, then it is certain that Imam Mahdi is not the lookalike of Isa, salam verifying that the look-alike of Isa from the progeny of Ali is most certainly, without a doubt, the Yemeni from Basra. He is the only one who could have such a scription. The Yemeni is the Meti son, the first of the twelve Metis, the appointed one to whom allegiance will be pledged, the first believer, the first of the 313, the awaited messenger from Elijah to the Jews, Jesus to the Christians, and Imam Meti to the Muslims and he is the one who will lead the battles against the Sufiani and then hand the standard to Imam al-Mahdi a.s. As for Imam al-Mahdi a.s., Isa, the spirit of Allah a.s., 
Elijah alayhi salam and Al-Qadr alayhi salam, they will come out and reveal themselves before the people after Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam has handed the standard from the Yemeni alayhi salam, the look-alike of Jesus. In other terms, they will appear after war is waged against the Sufiani and the state of justice is empowered over a wide part of the earth, as from which the remaining parts of the earth would be liberated. The people belonging to the other religions would be faced with arguments against their prophets and finally the Dajjal would be fought. God willing, in another presentation, we will discuss Imam Mehdi salam in further detail for our Christian brothers and sisters and the four pillars of Imam Mehdi salam the Imani, Jesus, Elijah, and Al-Qadr, peace be upon them all. But I want to stay focused on the topic of the look-alike of Jesus salam and who he really is, as there is a great deal of information to still cover.